What it do world, I'm so blessed to have you click on this video. Thank you for tuning in. I go by the name Big Bone, AKA Boney850, and I personally wanna welcome you to the channel. And before we get started, I just gotta say, as we build the channel to a million, gazillion, trillion subscribers, we're blessing somebody at 1,000 subscribers. So make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe and maybe y'all can share that blessing if one of you guys are selected. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. As you can tell from the title, this is gonna be a two-part segment. For those of you who don't follow me on social media, go ahead and do so now at Boney850 so you can see me and get to know me in different ways. You know, I use different platforms to market and talk to my people. So for those who've been following me, they know that I've been on this health loss journey for a while. For those of you who have not, I'm gonna bring you up to speed and I'm gonna answer all of my followers questions on how I did it, what made me do it, and why I did it. So let's get straight into it. For those of you who may not know, I've been on this health journey for quite a while. Seven months ago, I was tipping the scales at over 600 pounds. I believe my highest weight was 612 or 615 pounds. I was embarrassed to say it. It wasn't life, but I felt like I was staring death in the eye. I'm a father of two. I personally felt that I was being extremely selfish, but I didn't let that stop me, the anxiety, all that stuff. I just knew that if I, if I focus, there was gonna be a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So I lost over 100 pounds in six months without surgery. I didn't use any kind of magic pills. Um, I didn't take any shortcuts. I actually put the work in. So for you guys watching this video who's familiar with obesity and health, you may say, six, six months and you only lost 100 pounds? I mean, it's easy for a big person to lose 100 pounds because they burn a lot more calories and they lose weight faster than a smaller person. Well, I'm here to tell you, yes, that's true, but that's also an opinion because it was not easy losing 100 pounds in six months, okay? And yes, I could have lost 40. I mean, I've seen people lose 65 pounds in one month, but normally you're doing a very extreme diet and you're doing that to get to a healthier weight to undergo anesthesia for the weight loss surgery. Me personally, I'm a big chicken of surgery. I don't like going under the knife. I don't like being forced to sleep, excuse me. So it, it just wasn't for me. So I told myself, I said, Bone, you either gonna man up and get this weight off you naturally, or you're gonna have to get that surgery because the end result isn't gonna be good, you know? I'm getting up in age, so I made the decision. I, I put it in my brain that I wasn't having the surgery, and I decided to make a lifestyle change, okay? If you're looking for a quick fix, um, I'm sorry this isn't the video for you, but if you're looking to rectify the problem and make a lifestyle change, continue watching. I'm gonna help you do so in the first part of this segment. So for me, rather than following some extreme diet and seeing some short-term results, I wanted to do something that's more permanent, okay? I wanted to create a formula to where if I get sidetracked down the line, I'm gonna be able to get back on track a lot easier because I'm already accustomed to living a healthy lifestyle, okay? So the first thing you wanna do before starting your journey is become aware, okay? Become aware of your situation, become aware of how you got there, and become aware of what you need to change, okay? You need to build your, your mental strength, build your physical strength, and just become aware of everything. So for me, I decided to start looking at food is like, is this food contributing to my obesity or is this food contributing to a solution to rectify the problem? So that was step one for me, okay? And step two will have to be discipline. You have to enforce discipline because if you don't, you will fail 
and you will go back to where you were in the beginning. Stop making excuses. You have to enforce discipline, okay? Once you become aware, you have to discipline yourself to stay away from those foods. Stay away from those people, okay? Stay away from excuses. You have to look at it like the military. Normally, you have a higher rank sergeant yelling at the lower sergeant to condition them for the battlefield, okay? Your weight loss journey will be a battle. You have to become that person you wanna be mentally and physically. You have to see that person before you can be that person and use that person to beat up your old self and just get that person out of the picture, okay? So discipline will be step two. Uh, the third thing you need is probably the most important thing I'm gonna mention in this video is consistency, okay? You have to be consistent with getting that water in. You have to be consistent with your physical activity. You have to be consistent on your path so once you get down the line, it becomes second nature, okay? You're gonna be living this healthy lifestyle and you're not even gonna be knowing that you're on the right path because it's just gonna be a part of life. So become aware, physically, mentally, you know, enforce that discipline and start executing, okay? You execute with consistency. Make a checklist, knock that checklist out, make short-term goals, make long-term goals, try different diets, okay? This is a lifestyle. This is, the beginning is gonna be a process of elimination, okay? You don't wanna put all your eggs in one basket as far as a diet that doesn't work for you, okay? So, Let's just make sure we execute consistency. Um, for me, a big hurdle was eliminating soda, eliminating sweets, and you know, just having a consistent schedule with my eating patterns and my physical activity. And then I'm gonna tell you something very important. Before you invest in a gym membership or some kind of personal trainer, make sure that you are already on the right path as far as what you're eating and you're just in a good mental state to go further onto phase two of your healthy lifestyle. Because a great trainer, shout out to Mr. Ira, he once told me you cannot out train a bad diet, okay? Let me elaborate on that, okay? Let's say you're ready to get in the gym, you're motivated, you wanna sweat as much as possible, you wanna burn as much calories as possible, but you don't wanna adjust your diet. What's gonna happen is, yeah, you may lose a couple pounds, you may start to see benefits, but you are going to fail because you're gonna burn yourself out, you're not gonna to wanna to do it anymore, you're not gonna be refueling with proper nutrition to help you kill those exercises, and it's gonna bring you back to step one. Don't cut any corners, you know, get your mind together, get your eating under control, and then go ahead and start working out. Okay. I'm gonna do a part two of this video and go into some of the methods and the routines that I did to help me lose 100 pounds in six months. And I just wanna tell you guys that whatever you wanna do, you can do it. Just believe in yourself. Don't look to others for advice. Um, I'ma say about 90% of us are always in our phone, okay? We're on social media, we're on the web, we're Googling things. Take a few hours or a few minutes out of the day and Google what you can do to improve your health. I mean, the knowledge is out there, okay? Um, they say nothing in this world is free. Um, I feel like knowledge is free, okay? Someone paid the price to gather the information, and it's free for you to soak it up. You know, if, if you don't have internet on your phone, or if you have a tablet, you can go to a library, you can go to your local Starbucks, tap in on their Wi-Fi, and just Google how to lose weight naturally. I'm big on natural, okay? We already put a lot of processed foods in our body. We, you know what I'm saying, the air we breathe, Everything we do has contamination in it. So let's try to limit those things and lose weight naturally, the old fashioned way. Blood, sweat, and tears. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. Stay tuned for part two. 
and make sure you come back to this video and just remember the three key factors you need to be successful on your weight loss journey. I go by the name Big Bone, AKA Boney850. I love you all. Stay tuned for part two. If you have any questions, hit me up on social media. For all you obese people out there, I'm here with you. I, I'm living it. I have walked in your shoes. So this isn't coming from a person who's never been huge or never been big. I've been there. I know what it feels like, okay? I, I know exactly how you feel and I'm here to tell you that it is very possible to get that weight off of you without surgery, okay? You just have to be willing to listen, you have to want it, and you just gotta do it. Y'all be blessed. Battle depression, high blood pressure, shit get real, life get hectic, got send me a message, I try to correct it, life is precious, can't waste no time, I feel so high, I feel so alive, something still ain't right, I can't clear my mind, I lost myself, can't find no peace, they say I'ma die from the shit I eat, they say I'm obese, why they looking at me, cause these diamonds on me, or because I'm a freak, I get no fuck, I'ma still be me, tell me what you see. Red nigga, blow the light of wild, wild wind. Catch your body for respect. Never ever leave without your best.